We cannot yet know how these games will change us or what their legacy will be. But we do know this, ladies and gentlemen, that British Columbia has made enormous strides in the early years of the 21st century. It has grown exponentially, gathered economic strength, and become more important in confederation than at any time in the history of this country. And it is not hard to predict that in some distant year, when British Columbians reflect upon these games, you will see them as an affirmation of what you have achieved and as your point of departure into a new and exciting era. I also want to tell you that all Canadians are proud to be partners in these games, be it in the form of venue infrastructure, legacy funds, cultural events, or the essential security arrangements. All Canadians, through the Government of Canada, have made the investments needed to ensure a world-class event. Because well, Vancouver and Whistler may be the staging grounds of the 2010 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games. Let there be no doubt, as Premier Campbell said himself in December when we welcomed the Olympic flame to Parliament Hill, these games are Canada's games. Because, ladies and gentlemen, while British Columbia will have on display during these games everything of which you are so proud, the thing that will be the most visible once our national teams and athletes appear on the stage will be BC's greatest attribute and its greatest asset. And that is that British Columbia is part of Canada. It is all of Canada that will be cheering our athletes on. It is all Canadians, from Kate Race to Nootka Sound, to the men and women standing on guard at Alert in Nunavut, who will be glued to their television sets, not just cheering for our athletes, but feeling with them every step of the way. In this great striving among the nations that is no serious or less determined for being undertaken in a spirit of goodwill, Canadian athletes will create now the yesterdays that we shall all savor in our tomorrows, the stories of which we shall remind each other, the feats of courage, commitment, and fair play that we shall offer to our children and our children's children as examples when they ask, what does it mean to be Canadian? And when we answer, we shall feel that warm glow of pride as we should as Canadians. Patriotism, ladies and gentlemen, patriotism as Canadians should not make us feel the least bit shy or embarrassed. I know that thoughts of grandeur or boisterous displays of nationalism we tend to associate with others. And I also admit that over the centuries, Things have been done around the world in the name of national pride or love of country that would have been better left undone. Yet we should never cast aside our pride in a country so incredible, in a land that we are so fortunate to call home merely because the notion has sometimes been abused. There is nothing wrong and there is much that is right in celebrating together when our fellow citizens, in this case our athletes, perceiving some splendid star high above us, willingly pay the cost and take the chance to stretch forth their hands and try to touch it for that one shining moment. For no good thing is without risk and no ideal can be reached without sacrifice ask any Olympian who wears the maple leaf. But that maple leaf, we realize, symbolizes more than just the athletes who wear it. It symbolizes the country we love. It symbolizes the Canada, our Canada, that has shown even during this global recession and will show during these games that it can compete and can win against the very best in the world. It is the Canada, our Canada, whose other citizens who wear the maple leaf, our armed forces, 
served and have served the world over, never for conquest or advantage, but simply to spread our gifts of freedom, democracy, and justice to make the world a little safer, a little better, as they are doing in Afghanistan today, or to give some hope to others and to rescue our fellow citizens, as they have done so spectacularly in Haiti. That Canada, our Canada, so many of our citizens, have given so willingly to Haiti, not because we think we will gain some power or some return, because at its heart, our country is compassionate and generous, not only with our fellow citizens, but with our fellow human beings as well. And you know, in recognizing all of these things about our country, we don't make the claim that it is perfect. But when we have done wrong, as we truly have on occasion, the Indian residential schools, the Chinese head tax, we have tried to learn from those mistakes and to make amends. And that, my fellow Canadians, learning from our history we have discovered is the better way to build our future. I believe it is a real strength of this country. It has made us history's benefactors instead of its prisoners. Canada, our magnificent land, to which we are welcoming the world, not just for the Olympic and Paralympic Games, but as a part of our very identity. Because all nations, when they come here, will already find their brothers and sisters among us, Canadians who have arrived from every corner of the planet and continue to come to put aside our old quarrels and to embrace a common future together. And so when we in our national anthem ask God to keep our land glorious and free, we mean all of us who choose to be Canadians of equal worth, not just in his eyes, but in each other's. Canada, our Canada, is truly worthy of our pride and our patriotism. So let us hold our flag high at our embassies and our aid bases, our outposts and our vessels, our stadiums and our venues, our businesses and our homes, during these Canadian Olympic and Paralympic Games. But not just for these games. Also for the G8, the G20, the North American Leaders Summit, the visit of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and any other great occasion, not only as a symbol of how much we appreciate all that we have, but also as a sign of welcome to the world. Let it be a cheerful red and white reminder of a quiet and humble patriotism that while making no claims on its neighbors is ready to stand on guard for itself. We will ask the world to forgive us this time this uncharacteristic outburst of patriotism and pride. Our pride of being part of a country that is strong, confident, and stands tall among the nations. We will let our flag wave here in British Columbia, beautiful British Columbia, over the podium of the 2010 Winter Games. This is truly British Columbia's golden moment, and it is also Canada's time to shine. And I thank you so much for letting me come here to be a part of it. Merci beaucoup. God bless Canada.